Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a layered landscape video in Doodly. I'll walk you through each step of the process so you can create your own masterpiece. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. A few weeks ago, someone in the Doodly design group on Facebook wanted to know how I made this particular video. I thought it would be fun to create something similar, especially with spring right around the corner. Using layers is a great way to add some depth and interest to your videos. And if you look along here at the side, you'll see that this is just a series of layered images. It's really quite simple. We're going to need to find some images that lend themselves to stacking. So let's take a look at the images that we're going to use today. Now I did have to prep some of these images by removing their backgrounds. slicing and dicing into individual images, and that's because so many of these come grouped together on one image, and then you have to cut them out. And then saving them as transparent PNG or SVG files. It's important that they're transparent because if you put something in with a white background, then that white background's gonna show up. We don't necessarily want that. I used Pixelmato Pro to do this, but you could use virtually any graphics design program or even free online tools like remove.bg. Now that the graphics are prepped, let's start creating our video. Open Doodly and create a new project. And let's give it a name. Now you can use whichever resolution you want to use. I'm going to just go for the standard default. And I have a blank screen. Next, we want to import our images. So go to props blue plus sign and browse for your files or drag and drop them in. So I have all of my images here that I'm going to be using. This is large as we can. Fill the screen. While I'm here I'm going to click the little pencil icon and I'm going to choose fade. I really like that effect. I'm going to probably make it like a two second fade. So we're working on all the background elements first. So let's add in some trees and place them wherever we think they would look nice. You want to resize some. I think two is probably enough. And then let's put some flowers in. These are going to be small going through and changing their durations. They're not going to be super long. And I'm going to go ahead and start turning these into fades. That way when I duplicate them, the um, settings will also duplicate so it'll be a little less work. I don't think I want a blue flower. Okay, so I think these are fine. So now I'm going to control select and then control or command copy, which is the C and then control or command V, which is paste. And that just pasted on a bunch more. And then I can do that one more time. And now let's kind of rearrange them a bit, you know, because we don't want them to be in the exact same pattern as before. And we may want to rethink the timing on that. Um, if I have this many flowers, that's going to add up. You know, if you have 10 flowers at one and a half seconds, that's 15 seconds. So that might be a little long. We'll go back to that. Now I would like my girl and the butterflies. This may be a little much. We'll see. I really didn't do a very good job of getting rid of all the white. But I think this shows you what's possible. I'm not a fan of the butterflies, so I'm going to get rid of them. And I think I want no hand today. So I'm going to go to settings and where you have hand, if you scroll through, you can choose no hand. Click apply. And let's take a look. Like I say, I probably want to make some adjustments even further. But let's see what we're looking at. Oh, I missed that. I want that to fade on. Yeah, I need to set those to fade on.
all of this needs to happen a lot faster. So let's make these trees one second, one second. And while we're here with the tree, we want that to fade. Same with this tree. Pencil icon, make it fade. All of our flowers, they need to come on really fast. Half a second. We could even have them just pop on if we wanted, which would be kind of fun. But I think half a second will be fine. And this needs to fade. And our girl needs to fade. Okay, so now we're at about 15 seconds. We do need some time at the end. You know, we go through all this to put it on there. So let's let people enjoy it. So let's say seven seconds. And then you want to add some music. You go to sounds. And instead of actual music, I'm going to add the bird chirps. I don't know if bird chirps is built into Doodly or if I imported that earlier. So if you don't have it, you'll need to find some royalty-free sound effects. Just search online and I'm sure you'll find royalty-free bird sound effects at one of the sites. You may need to give attribution. And what I'm doing is it was way too long, so now I'm just dragging this edge here at the end so that it matches my scene. There we have it. Let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. And that's the basics of creating a layered landscape in Diddly. Thanks for watching.